हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिक बाड़ी एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी फिनिश्ड विद द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ क्लासिक बाड़ी वी इंप्लीमेंटेड द क्लासिक बाड़ी डेफिनेशन नाउ वी विल चेक द आउटपुट इन द डिबगिंग मोड सो आई विल सिंपली गो टू एस 19 एंड वी विल पुट ए ब्रेक पॉइंट this is the body implementation name now we have a class in this class we implemented the method check data and i will put a break point there i will activate my body implementation it is active now we will see are we getting a expected output i will go to mm01 industry sector material type i will put that description now i am putting unit of measurement kg i will click on to save button is our logic triggering yes it is triggering it will check is unit of measurement kg yes this if condition is true and we are getting a error so in this sap standard transaction code we have written our own logic and if you see our implementation name our class name everything is starting with z it means we enhance the sap functionality in customer name space i will check other scenario it should work for other unit of measurement so i'll go to mm01 suppose this time we will put ea which is not equal to kg so our logic is triggering it will check is unit of measurement is equal to kg no if condition is false and now you can see the material got created now same to same approach from the starting of the topic itself i told after studying or after learning these topics because you are doing everything into sap programs you should always always undo the things so that others should not hamper by your changes so if you see if i will not revert the changes then what will happen whoever is using this system if they are using unit of measurement kg they will not be able to create the material so after you are learning or when you studied the topic please please revert your changes now i will go to sc19 transaction code this is our implementation now maximum time people what they will do they will simply simply deactivate the implementation i'll show you i'll go to sc19 again sc19 i will go to my implementation maximum time people what they will do they will simply simply deactivate the implementation once you deactivate the implementation what will happen your implementation and your class will be there but your logic will not trigger means your implementation logic will not trigger so many time people what they will do they'll simply deactivate if i will show you mm01 now if i am passing these things see i will put kg logic is still there implementation is still there but we deactivated the implementation then what will happen our logic will not trigger so i am able to create the material but the best way is if you are going for practice way you should delete whatever you created so i will delete those things but you can go for deactivation also if you do not want your logic to trigger so i'll simply delete this class whatever the class we created this name automatically provided by the sap so i will delete this class now i will delete the implementation also
implementation also complicated many time in the projects what they will do if they do not want their implementation to trigger they will simply deactivate the implementation in the future if it is required again they will activate the implementation again but if you are going for learning perspective simply delete whatever you created now in case of classic body we will go for two most important points suppose i will go to sc18 transaction code i will go for the body material check with which is classic body definition now if you see we have one check box for sap internal we have one check box for multiple use is multiple use check box is strict yes it is strict is sap internal check box is box is strict it is not strict now we will go for first what is the meaning of sap internal if this check box is strict it means that is the body definition only for sap use we cannot create a implementation of that body definition many time what will happen people will simply ask i am not able to create a implementation of this body definition because they have not checked this particular check box if this check box is strict you can never never create a implementation of that body definition because that is for sap use only now what is this check box multiple use multiple use means multiple implementations if this check box is strict you can create multiple implementation suppose if you remember as of now we created one body implementation i can go for other body implementation also i can go for third body implementation also so if multiple use is strict we can go for multiple implementations if this check box is not tick we can only only go for one implementation so what is the summary of the topic we check the output in the debugging mode you can it you can the best way is you should always delete whatever you are creating if you are going for learning perspective or you can deactivate your implementations then we studied what is the meaning of these two check boxes if multiple use is strict you can create multiple implementations of that by definition if sap internal check box is strict you cannot create a implementation of that by definition it is only only for the sap internal use now in the next video we will start with our second type of body that is kernel body or new body that's it in this video thank you